Hi, I'm Ginny. You just bought a Marseille M cable and would like to connect it to your media streamer? Let me walk you through it. This training video is designed to teach you three things, how to install your M cable, how to optimize your box configuration, how to see the picture quality improvements. A media streamer is a device you use to watch Netflix, Hulu or Amazon shows for instance on your TV. This could be a dedicated streaming box from the likes of Roku, Amazon or Apple. Or it could be your Blu-ray player, game console or even TiVo box providing you streaming apps. What comes to your box over the internet varies depending on your content provider. Netflix and Amazon have dynamic bandwidth adjustment. You start your show at low resolution, then it increases seamlessly up to the maximum your internet connection allows. Others like Hulu always stream HD and 720p only. You need roughly 3 megabits per second for 480p, 4 for 720p and 5 or more for 1080p. Netflix publishes bandwidth statistics that show most households actually get less than 4 megabits per second for streaming. You may be thinking none of this applies to you, you have a much higher download speed from your ISP and you measured it in a bandwidth test. Well video streaming services are victim of their own success. Some recent reports estimate that video and audio streaming services consume an impressive 70% of internet bandwidth in North America. Yes, 70%. Internet service providers and network operators are throttling them. If you want to find out your Netflix bandwidth, play this show on your media streamer. You can Google it too. Bottom line, most people can only stream HD and 720p. One last thing, what comes out of your media streamer over HDMI? Some devices output is TV driven, meaning as you have a 1080p60 TV they output 1080p60 no matter what you're watching. Better media streamers are content driven, they provide native output. For instance 720p60 for Hulu, 1080p24 for Netflix Full HD. They defer complex video processing to the TV. Marseille recommends that you use a device that allows native output. Otherwise make sure your device output resolution does not exceed your maximum streaming resolution. Time for our hands-on tutorial. First, pick your favorite streaming content provider, like Netflix or Hulu, and play a show in your existing setup. That is, without M cable. When watching channels with dynamic resolution and bandwidth allocation, like Netflix or Amazon, give it a couple minutes until you reach maximum picture quality. Watch and remember the picture quality at this point, play a few sequences. Pause on some scenes to better appreciate the quality. Quality depends on the streaming resolution and compression bitrate of what you're watching. Overall it's not bad but kind of blurry. Now before switching to M cable, remember Marseille recommends watching your shows in native resolution and frame rate if possible. This means your media streamer output should be 720p if you're watching Hulu or if your maximum streaming resolution is 720p. Output should be 1080p24 if you have enough bandwidth and your device can output native frame rate. This will allow M cable to upscale to 4K on UHD TVs. In my case, I'm watching Hulu. My TV should be receiving 720p. Press the info or display button on your TV remote, it should show you the resolution and frame rate that your TV is currently receiving from your device. There. 720p. Now, if your TV is not receiving the recommended resolution and frame rate, let's try to fix it. It's possible that due to a device limitation you cannot get the recommended settings. The most likely limitation is native frame rate. Even though all HD content is streamed at 24Hz, some devices did not give you the option to output 24Hz, which is a shame. Navigate through the output options on your media streamer, see if you can find the recommended settings. Check your TV input resolution again if you made any change. Now let's connect your M cable. First. Unplug and remove your existing HDMI cable. Now connect M cable. First, 
connect M cable USB to your TV's USB port. You can use an external AC to USB adapter like a smartphone charger if your TV has no available USB port. Next, connect the shorter end cable HDMI connector to your media streamer HDMI output. Last, connect the longer end cable HDMI connector to the same TV HDMI input port that your device was previously connected to. Play your show again. Voila! You can now enjoy M Cable's picture quality. Remember what this looked like before? Look at the quality now. The picture has more depth and more details. Overall, you should see a bump in quality. This should feel as if you were watching a Blu-ray. Use the info button on your TV remote to check what resolution it is receiving from M Cable. In my case, I'm sending native Hulu 720p to M Cable, and 1080p is coming out of it into the TV. If you have a full HD TV and your media streamer is feeding 1080p to M Cable, then M Cable will give an enhanced 1080p to your TV. If you have a UHD TV and your media streamer is feeding 1080p to M Cable, you should see 1080p 60 from M Cable if input is 60 Hz, 4K 24 from M Cable if input is 24 Hz. And if you are watching 1080p 24 converted to 4K by M Cable, you are getting an amazing picture quality, that is 4K image certified by Technicolor. Now watch your favorite shows and enjoy. Hi mom, have you seen my stuffy? What are you watching? Wow did we buy a new TV? Yay! Can I watch my show, can I? Nice try, it's bedtime and your show is not available on the new TV. It's time for mom's show now. Good night. That's it. Thank you. M Cable. Seeing is believing.